All right, welcome back to another Wine of the Week. Much appreciated. Something very fun, very unique, part of the show of dining, something that I like to do. You all know that. Um, I'm with two really cool guys. Um, one, Adam Roll Cavalier, who's been introducing some really new cool spirits and wines available into the Ohio market. And then the gentleman he purchases from, Dan Fry from Domain Select. He today is going to teach us about tableside disgorgement. Uh, and I will be trained on that as well, probably after the video, so no one gets hurt. And then come on into Dante and we'll do it table side. Dan? Okay, I'd just like to start out by telling you a little bit about what we're going to be serving. Um, one of the great fun things to do in the world of wine is to visit a um, great champagne or sparkling wine producer to visit the winery because what they can do is do something that you can't possibly do in a restaurant which is serve you a wine immediately after it's disgorged so a sparkling wine or a great champagne um, is disgorged uh, giving you kind of a naked very raw clean version of the wine uh, subsequently it goes through a lot it has some things added to it and it goes through some things that complicate it a little bit and we've always found it very interesting and exciting to try it without those complications to try essentially a raw naked version of the wine the problem is you have to actually be at the winery but one of the craziest winemakers in the world until now. Uh, yeah until now one of the craziest winemakers in the world Alice Kristanich is a great uh, maker of sparkling wines. He is in a region we call Colio, right on the border between Italy and Slovenia, and it's there that he works his sort of uh, wild chemistry set magic on a lot of uh, traditional, naturally made wines. And he makes a wine called Puro, here it is here, um, a great classic sparkling wine made with uh, Pinot Nero, essentially the Pinot Noir grape. Uh, it makes kind of a beautiful um, rosé colored uh, sparkling wine, very clean, very minerally, very completely dry. Um, and what he's done is uh, a spectacular um, addition to serving sparkling wine in restaurants. Uh, it has to be done, uh, it can only be done at a few restaurants around the country because it has to be done very carefully and very expertly. By yeah, by a trained professional. It has to be done expertly or uh, everyone's life is in danger. So um, what he's done is he takes the wine um, and produces it, uh, the bottle, in a way that it's uh, set up to be disgorged at the table, table side in your restaurant. So it ships like this uh, upside down in a cone um, so that the wine the bottle is never uh, uh, rotated and all of the exactly all of the sediment uh, is right up against the cork sinking to the bottom right up against the cork and what you're going to do table side or what we're going to do table side is uh, disgorge the bottle and then uh, be able to serve it immediately after it's disgorged I want to point out you'll see on a lot of champagnes um, at twice the price of their normal bottlings, uh, something called recently disgorged. You'll see RD, like on the Bollinger. Right. You'll see um, wines, and, and there are always a lot of extra money. So this is kind of a, a, a way to try wines um, that would normally be very expensive, rare, reserved bottlings, and those are only recently disgorged. This is really, really recently this disgorged. this is gonna be on the list for under $100. So yeah, it's, it's quite a value. It's special, fun, unique in the shows, yep. I think. It's always a huge trade-up in Champagne to get something even remotely recently disgorged, whereas this is like <laughs> immediately disgorged. So it's kind of fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this tool, which um, Alice designed for disgorging the bottles uh, table side in a restaurant. We've got a, um, uh, uh, some water here. It has to be done underwater. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the bottle in this tool, um, set it in the water, and essentially uh, rotate the bottle and pull it gently away from the iron at the same time. At some point, the the it will kind of explode, and the um, we the like explosions. yeah we like explosions. It will go off, and the um, sediment in the um, neck of the bottle will be blown into the water. I'll, I'll pull the bottle up. One of the tricks is you don't want to pull the bottle up too fast. You don't want to sort of panic and pull it up really fast because you it does need to be underwater for a second for all that sediment to blow out. So this is how we disgorge it, and we're able to serve it at the table side. So I'll take the bottle here. I'm going to lose this cone so I can, uh, you can see what I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm, I'm inserting the bottle. Uh, it's got two uh, sort of guides, so you can insert it correctly in the, uh, he calls this the iron. There you go. Um, I'll take it, turn it upside down into the water. Uh, and I'm going to rotate the bottle and pull it slowly away from the iron. And when it goes off, I'll just I'll pull it right up out of the water. There we go. 
you get a nice little um, explosion and you can see um, if you've opened the bottle correctly, all of the sediment is now in the water. You kind of saw it blow out of the neck of the bottle. Um, and that will give you a nice, pure, uh, clean uh, glass of sparkling wine. Adam and I are ready to do our job. Yeah, that's right. Okay? It's been hard work. I know. Someone's gonna so, do it, Adam. Sorry? That's why, that's why they called us. So this will give you a nice, uh, uh, clean, uh, clear glass of Movia Puro. And um, the winemaker is Alice Cristanich, the grape is Pinot Nero, and the wine is uh, Movia Puro. Cheers. Hope you enjoy. Cheers, gentlemen.